What's up, people in YouTube land? What's going on? It's me again. It's Monday. Uh, first week in June. I can't even freaking remember. I think it's the 4th because Father's Day is tomorrow. So, uh, probably discuss very small about that. Um, it's something I want, of course, but I'm not going to get it. Um, a lot of you know that I, uh, I live in Denmark. And the area that I live in is called Yulet. The town that I'm in is called Juanas. And I just, I'm, I'm a little frustrated this morning. And I'm gonna, gonna rage and vent a little bit. Um, why, well, okay, let me explain a little bit first. Um, the area that I'm in is, um, it's like a squared area of Juanas. It's called Steens Miguel. I'm not gonna go into depths where I live because I don't want y'all, you know, invading my house, invading my privacy, and you know, scaring my baby and my wife. But um, <laughs> uh, the area is it's like a square. And uh, lately, they've been doing some renovating on the asphalt out there. So this morning, you know, streaming peacefully. I can't even remember what I dreamed, but I know it was dope. It was off the chain. All of a sudden, I hear, do, 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 do. what the frick is that? Open my eyes, and my little girl, she just immediately woke up out of, like, dreamland. And I'm just like, wondering what the, who the hell drills at 7.30 in the morning? So, of course, they got the big crane thing out there, and they're pounding in the pavement. My wife woke up, and then we like, we're frustrated because, of course, she's supposed to sleep till at least 10, 9 o'clock. That way we know she got, she's right west of it, but no, no. These fools out here and damn around the state, they want to start drilling in the pavement at 7.30, and that shit is agitating. It really annoys the shiznit out of me. And while I'm on the subject of being annoyed, let me ask y'all a question, because I might need some help on this, and I don't know how to approach these people. We got some neighbors that just recently moved in above us. Now, I don't, I haven't met them, I haven't gotten a chance to meet them, but yet, when they moved in, they moved in at 12 midnight, the very first night. And I was home by myself. And I mean, they were loud as hell. Loud as hell. Everything they brought in, they made noise. So I, I remember I woke up and opened up the door to see what the hell the commotion was. And then they, they're bringing in beds and mattresses. And, and one of the guys was like, oh, sorry. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. You know, it was fucking 12 midnight, man. So um, last night... After a long, ridiculous day of flag football, for those of you that don't know, I did very good. Um, two wins, one loss. Seven touchdowns, one interception. Woo. Um, I went to pick up my wife from the in-laws and took them home. My wife prepared to put my little girl in the bed. And I was ridiculously tired. I was tired, had a, a mean headache, and I was getting ready to go to bed myself. I mean, I wasn't going to watch no basketball as much as I wanted to. And I'm very disturbed how the heat lost but hey shizn it happens um they started jumping and like they were i don't know if they were play wrestling or or you know wwf all up in your house or whatnot and it's just like it's real annoying but this ain't the first time this is like the 100th time and they are just the noisiest bunch of motherfuckers i've ever heard in my life now these some young ass kids i believe i believe they're teenager i don't know where they're from and they even talk loud like I'm talking to you normal now, but I mean, the walls, I guess, in this apartment complex are so thin, you can hear them talking almost, and even when they step, they step like they freaking ogres, you can hear them take a step every time, so I have not gone up and said anything to them because I don't know them like that, and in the sense, I don't know what to say. And I got a feeling these guys are teenagers. They're just going to be like, oh, a squirrel yell, you know. Your baby wakes up in the middle of the night and cries and wakes us up. Well, jackass, she's a baby. That's what she's supposed to do. That's all she knows how to do is cry. She can't necessarily tell us what she wants right away. Unlike y'all, that's probably 15, 16, 17, 18 years old and going full steady crazy up now. So um, how do I go up and approach these so-called young adults and explain to them, hey, look, uh, I'm not your tenant boss or whatever, but I'm just your neighbor. Can you respect at X amount of time? Can you like just not cause so much ruckus? I mean, to the point where they started watching TV so freaking loud. They turned the TV up like my the max volume on my TV on our flat screen is 80. 
I mean, believe me, I know people can hear that. I've never tested it. But they're upstairs, I'm pretty sure they got surround sound and, uh, you know, everything all hooked up. And you could hear every freaking thing. I'm just thinking to myself, really, you know, this, uh, this type of shit has got to stop. So, I need some help. How do I approach these kids or these people and tell them, hey, you know, respect. That's all I'm asking for. So, um... That being said, uh, I'm going to get in here and get to work. Uh, what do you guys, for all the fathers out there, what do you guys think you're going to get for Father's Day? What do you think I'm going to get for Father's Day? I can tell you right now, I want this uh, electronic bracelet that works in with Nike and Nike Plus, something or other. But I know I'm not going to get it. But it sucks like hell. Uh, I'll give a special shout out to all the new subscribers and everybody else today. Thank you for watching. And please, as always, subscribe and tell your friends and everything else. So, um, yeah, leave your comments again below and let me know what you think, guys. And to all the fathers out there tomorrow, happy Father's Day. I will see y'all later. Bye.